Hi, we're here with Alex Liddell from EPC. And what you see behind us is a display of a laser being driven by an EGAN transistor. The application for this is LiDAR, a very hot subject right now for autonomous vehicles. Um, Alex, one of the big applications for EGAN is driving these lasers. Why don't you tell us why? Yeah, the, the idea is you want to see a long distance and you want to see with a high degree of accuracy. In order to do that, you need to pump a lot of photons all at exactly the same moment and flash them and then when they bounce back, you, you can measure them and you can determine how far away they, they, they went before they bounce back. It's called time of flight. But to be accurate, you need to have everything leave at the same time. So GAN gives you incredible uh, high current pulses with very, very fast rise and fall times, which makes you see farther and see more accurately. Um, can you quantify that for us? What are we looking yeah, at? Yeah, so here? To, to here we have a 25 amp pulse uh, that, that actually this pulse is uh, right here in green and then you're actually measuring the return uh, pulse in the optical sensor and it's a 25 amp pulse with less than two nanosecond uh, rise uh, pulse width. And we also have over here, uh, which is not on the display, a 150 ampere pulse that's about six uh, nanoseconds wide. And what kind of resolution does that give you once you pump that out in the form of a laser beam? Well, you can see that on the screen. Uh, you can see that you get uh, better than centimeter resolution at about 300 feet. Interesting. Alice, we've got two different LIDARs going behind us. We've got a solid state LIDAR and we have a motorized 360 degree field of view LIDAR. There's some talk in the industry, in, in the autonomous vehicle industry, that maybe the solid state version is better, but you have some views on that. So they, they all uh, really use the same principle. They use a laser that uh, they, flat, uh, they, they send out a beam of light, and in the solid state uh, LiDAR, they use a mirror to scan it, and in the scanning uh, rotating disc, they just spin a disc around. Both work well and car companies have a way of grinding down costs. Now there's a third type of LiDAR, it's called a flash LiDAR, which uh, flashes a whole bunch of very tiny lasers called Vixels at the same time, and then just uses a camera chip to receive the light reflected back and measures the time of flight. That is very good for very high resolution, but distances less than 30 meters. So you really have three types of LiDAR today. All of them use our GAN transistors, because what's really important is to flash a lot of photons all at the same time. Um, it sounds like what you're saying was we could see all those different kinds of LIDARs on aut autonomous vehicles. You will see them all on autonomous vehicles just like you see them here at our booth. Awesome. Thanks, Alex.